In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a firearm pretty much from scratch. Now, in this case, I'm going to be using the FPS Weapon Bundle just for the sake of it's free, so you should be able to follow... Okay, I think it's free, but you should be able to follow along with it, and it's just relatively straightforward to use. So it comes with some attachments like these guys here, and I'll show you how to make use of them as well in a separate video. But for the time being, let's just go ahead and dive right on into it. So, heading on in, I've already actually imported the FPS weapon bundle, so here we have all we need. So here's like the M4, here's the AK, the VAL, so on and so on. And we want to set up a weapon blueprint that will work for us. So what I'm going to do is, under Tutorial, I'm actually going to make a new folder and call it Animations, just to remove all these from our root. And I'm going to create a new firearm. Now here's where you have basically one or two options. So if we look at the provided firearm, I'm talking about this one, the base example. Uh, this plugin does not include anything related to firing or reloading. It provides a bunch of helper functions to aid in those things, but it does not offer them. So like we have things like get muzzle projectile socket transform. You can have the range that you want it to be zeroed at with your current sight, the uh, accuracy and all that kind of stuff, as well as we have some helper structs to make it more efficient when you're sending RPC data with the transform. So it's basically a specific transform to it that drastically reduces the size. But so we can use all of this example data that we want to control the new firearm, or you can create one from scratch. So I'm going to just copy and paste this and change out what I need, but it's the exact same process. Nothing is different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this into tutorial. And I'm going to name this one EP underscore tutorial. And let's do, I guess we'll do the M4 first. Let's open that up, go to the viewport, and here we want to change the mesh. So I think they call it like ARX or A, okay, AR4. So we're going to grab the SK underscore AR4 and drag it in. Just go ahead and compile and save. Go to our character and for add fire, and we're going to change this to our tutorial M4. So the only thing that would be different, I'm actually going to go through and reset all this information really quick. Okay, so I've set everything back to default, and I really need to change the default of this because this is now in kilos, it was in weight, or sorry, in pounds. The only thing I've left is the fire modes, basically everything that was used in the default, uh, like all the example firing logic, that's the only thing that's the same. So cleared out like the fire camera shake, the shoulder stock offset, because we're going to be setting that again. And the only thing that was really left would be the poses, because those are already set up. And it's the exact same thing as the shoulder stock offset. So you basically are just modifying the high port and the low port pose for weapon collision. And I will be covering that in a separate video. So for now, you can just ignore those. But they should be relatively straightforward as to what their names are. So same thing for the movement sway. Uh, it's just set it to the example. One of my example movement sways are just vector graphs. They control like your breathing and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and make it work as is. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and just test it just to see what happens. Okay, so right now it's attached to the floor, so that's obviously a problem. So let's go ahead and fix that socket. So firearm grip socket, if you recall, let's go to our mesh. We made it another one called firearm grip. So let's change CC underscore firearm grip to firearm grip. Now it should attach to the right spot, which it does. We just have an issue with aiming as it's aiming to our hand root. And we also have an issue with our left hand. So we want to fix the left hand first. Let's go ahead and get that resolved. And I guess I could rotate the socket a little bit, get it straighter, but it doesn't matter. Uh, wait, I got myself backwards. So let's go to the firearm. Here it is. So we want to use left hand IK. So let's enable it. However, we are not done. So if we use it and I enable it and I eject, you can see the left hand went from being down here where my mouse is to being locked in right at my right hand. That's because there's no socket here for the left hand to be like to know where it's supposed to go. So we have to add one of those to the firearm. So let's go to our mesh, open that on up, and we'll grab our root. So let's right click, add a socket, and I always call mine the same thing, so S underscore left 
and IK. And here's where we want to position it. So I'm going to drag it out, up, and then to the uh, right. So let's go ahead and look at it now. So if I eject, crap, I was actually pretty dang close for the wing in it. But here you can see, you can ignore that magazine for now. Here you can see we have it set up to where it's relatively in the right spot. So I'm going to drag this over here. We can position it be a little bit better. So move it that way. And then we want to move it back. So let's go back somewhere around in here. I'll go a little bit closer to the magwell. And just a tiny bit that way. And I think it is pretty much good to go. I don't want it to be up really any higher, so let's save that. And we now have our left hand position set up. One thing we don't have now is the aiming. So we gotta fix that for obvious reasons, as this is uh, not quite right. So, we want to open up the firearm again. I don't know why I just closed it. But let's reopen the firearm. And look at our M4. So, here we have, again, under our sockets, we have another socket called Aim Socket. So this can be S underscore Aim by default. I, again, I like following along with that. It's very specific as to what it does. And we're going to do the same thing. So off of the root, we're going to add a socket and call it S underscore Aim. So we're going to drag this one on up, and what I like doing is actually putting it on the front sight first, just to get the position about as close as I can get. So I'm going to put it right at the top of the front sight post, and I'm going to drag it on back to the rear sight. Now we're going to have to rotate the socket around some, but we'll get there when we get there. So let's go ahead and save it, and that's off with the rear sight, so we'll have to fix that. So when I aim now, we're aiming, however, it is rotated. So as you can see, the firearm cants over, and it is vertical. So let's rotate this around. So we need to rotate. Let's see, so it's rotated up, and we're, let's see, we're rotating counterclockwise? No, clockwise. So let's grab this. Oh, let me enable snapping. So let's grab this, and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees to where it's forward, and that should make it backwards. Okay, so here we have a gangster. So now we need to rotate on this axis. Where, wait, no, we should go negative 90. So that way the Z is pointing up. I think that is correct. Oh, heck yeah, nailed it. So now we have it so where it's actually aiming. One thing we want to do is change because it's a bit off with the front sight. And same thing, that has a lot of sway to it, and that's due to the weight, which I'll cover in probably a, neck and, a second video. And now we just want to position this to where it'd be a little bit better. So let's try doing like the center. Okay, so we aim there, and that looks pretty good in my opinion. We still have our sway, and I'll show you how to fix this like crazy walking sway here in a bit. But we have our basic aiming and all that kind of stuff. Now we just want to set up. Uh, also, this works for rotation as well, by the way. So like, I'll just give you an example. I'll rotate by five degrees. On this axis, actually I'll do 10, so we're rotating down, and you'll see what happens. So now we're rotating way up. So that's just an example I wanted to show you. That's where it's like it enabled physics for there for a second. But we have our aiming set up. So now the only thing we want to do now is basically handle the firing. In order to test the firing, we need to enable shooting. So I'm going to copy this right mouse button and just change it to the left mouse button. Let me move these on down and out of the way a little bit farther. And basically what we're going to do is get our character component. We're going to get our firearm. So it's going to get the current firearm. So let's make sure it's valid first. And if it is off the firearm, we just want to call fire. And we can do the same thing. We can copy this and search for stop fire. So this will be for full auto. So again, checking is valid note. And if it's valid, we stop fire. So pressed, we fire, released, we stop fire. And this will run the default logic that is inside of here. So these are actually just uh, C++ implemented events. And you can override these from C++ or Blueprint. I'm doing that in Blueprint, obviously. But it'll enable you to fire. So I hope this isn't too loud for you.
but you can see we're actually firing. So the recoil is very weak, but we can fix that. But basically, I'm trying to look. I don't see any projectile. So what I'm going to do is open up the M4 and go over here. So here we spawn a magazine. You can really ignore that. But we're going to go to the magazine. And just for the sake of it has the ammo that we're using. So we're using BP underscore 556. So here we have it. I'm just going to make it big. So let's just set that back to default. So it's crazy big. And I'm going to give it a slow velocity of 100. Okay. So I shoot. That is coming not out of the muzzle. That is coming from, it looks like, the root of the firearm. So if we head back to our firearm here, we can see we have another socket called muzzle socket. So S underscore muzzle. So let's head back to our uh, firearm here. And we're going to add one more socket and call it S underscore muzzle. Now we're going to want to do the same thing as always. So we just move it over to the muzzle. And we're going to go out in front a little bit, somewhere in there. And let's just try it. Okay, let's actually out of curiosity, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. So it's 0 0.1. So it's still big but way smaller. So I'm going to make sure that this is actually working correctly. So I'm going to drag it way up. And now you can see it's coming from way up there. So we know that the socket is working. So we have our position. We have it right at the muzzle. And we are pretty much good to go. So this is where the projectile is going to eject out of. So we now have firing set up and all that fun stuff. So in the next video, I'm going to be covering some basics of attachments. So we're going to work on how to like set up different attachments for the firearm. We'll add a vertical grip. We'll add a suppressor and all that basic stuff. So I will see you then.